Yes. Yes. Okay. So I will go very quick and go into the present on the system and have the design of a system. Okay, so just brief a little bit on the Kimberly event monitoring system and why the system is pop up in this uh, presentation. It's very quick, and very short, and we will go into the demo on the, on the last. Okay, so this is the agenda that I want to present you today. In, in, in the first is overview of the Cambodia human event monitoring system and why is this Cambodia event monitoring system develop it. And the third is how does it work and how does it collaborate across ministry in Cambodia? Uh, I give a case in Cambodia. So, so uh, and also the number five is how it visualized to support in, in terms of decision makers, decision making. And next is will be in demo and uh, uh, what's next that will be uh, uh, come up with the, the next development uh, features. And also at the end with the Q&A. Okay, so just review in a little bit because I'm not from an epidemiologist uh, uh, specialist. So I'm from a technical uh, person. So that uh, just uh, present news on how we, and, and the, the, the Cambodian human event monitoring system right, right uh, now, the, uh, before uh, came EMS. So the Cambodia CDC, Cambodia Communicable Disease, department, so they are using a very old form, old system and with an old form that just a very simple, just a one page, like a form with one page and enters everything. And the officers, it's hard to understand in every passage. So that's why uh, uh, we uh, we thinking of like, what can we enhance to address all those needs of the Cambodia even monitoring system that be able to, to uh, like uh, track and also share able to, uh, to, to uh, another ministry in terms of supporting on the one health uh, system, surveillance system that will be able to share the data across ministry like from a human to animal sign. Okay, so uh, why is the CAM EMS? So why can we even monitoring system? So I just keep you uh, very short, simple, and easy to use. It's very like, uh, and also we design in a way that uh, give a hint to uh, to users where they know each attribute need to be input. So in, in this case, I just capture in a hint with the uh, uh, commented. So you don't need to. Need and also we design in a way that flexible. So it means that uh, the, whole, the whole form and whole field to be captured is uh, totally uh, dynamic, totally uh, designable by the epidemiologists uh, themselves. So we are not that. And also we design in a way that we uh, try to figure out on a way that shareable and collaboration uh, across the ministry that I mentioned previously like in the example like here, so they, they are sharing from uh, one to another uh, from a CDC to like the GDAP uh, uh, um, wait, Ministry of Health to uh, Ministry of Agriculture that are working on the animal health surveillance. And also we providing a timeliness and completeness of each, uh, each event that we uh, that they reported. So uh, going quick, so how it works. So here, so the first receiving a new report. So the, the community uh, citizens, so they're reporting to the authority, health authority. So by a phone call or by whatever else. So, and then the authority, the, the surveillance officer, so they're entering the new suspected cases report with the basic information into the CAM EMS. With that, uh, the system will be notified immediately, notified to the telegram uh, group in Cambodia, Telegram is a very popular one. It's the first priority, even then, email, and as well as also uh, notified to email as well. But we selected Telegram group because we understand the content in Cambodia that every uh, health officers are on Telegram group. And then, so they send send off the officer to verify the cases, and then they get back to update into the Cambodia maps. Then it uh, generate uh, uh, it automatic generated the dashboard where it supported to the CDC management team be able to monitor and tracking the progress of yes. 
So in here is collaborate between the human and animal. So we design in a way that we allow both to share all of the agreement zonistic uh, disease, uh, right? Even such as just an example, like rabies and influenza. Like I said previously, I'm not an epidemiology. So I just give a, a case of example here based on my knowledge that I understand about the zoonotic disease. Okay. So in a collaboration and in jointly investigation for the zoonotic disease outbreak, you know, so information sharing on the timeliness and completeness and effectiveness. Okay, so this is the data visualization. It's just a screenshot, but I will show you in a real, real uh, on, on the system on how we uh, present it. So uh, let me go back to uh, present you the system quickly. Oh, I need to switch off. Uh, I might need to switch the screen. Uh, you cannot see my dashboard, right? Sorry, just to check to make sure that my Zoom is sharing. Here I see. No, uh, right. it's still the slide, Takara. Okay, okay, I'm switching. Give me a minute. Mm. I'm gonna to see another screen, so I'm sorry. So... Okay, uh, so can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, so the system, ju just be informed, the system is designed for only the health authority. It's not only for the public. So every public needs to be reported to the, to the one channel, uh, one channel uh, that need to be reported. Like in the flow that I said, it's, they can call into the hotlines 115, that is the national hotline in Cambodia to report their suspected case in their community or they report directly to the health officer in their local community, uh, the nearest that they, they know. Okay, so I just log into the, uh, something like an account to be uh, so you on how the system is designed. So here's when you log in, it's very, uh, we design in a very simple with um, list every, uh, every cases reported that entering into the system. And also, it, it, it has the progress of each, uh, each, each step of like, like we design in a, in, in, in a phase like, if you're going to a detail of the cases, so you can see that the captures from milestone one to another milestone with a different field that they design. Like, like in the new ones, they just input the suspected event. So they just uh, make a judgment based on the information, symptom and so on that they receive. So they, uh, they are judging into a, a suspected event, which event type that they need, that it uh, like meet the definition of the symptom and the report that the citizen report them. And also in, in that, so they capture the most important is the number of cases and the location of the case and the number of hospitalized, a number of dates. But this is ju just, just uh, quick, uh, this is our staging servers, not the real data of the Cambodia CDC because we, we are not be able to, to access to the, to the official data to be present. So this is our uh, testing server that we designed based on the, the, the first version that we uh, built together with the Cambodia CDC. But uh, again, the indica indicators are being updated and are being edited or remoted, but more likely it's edited. So it captures the number of case, number of hospital line, number of date, and the description of the cases and the even date is more likely as onset date if they can't define it. And the report date and the source of information in this example, like your websites, but in others, they have uh, hotlines and the contact and so on. So this is our simulation data to be uh, present to use. And also when they go back, when they, uh, the officers is go to the, to the field to ver verify and, and then they come back to update it. So they just tell the system that what day that they conduct the verification and who lead the verification and uh, what is the role of the, 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 the person, the authority who lead the verification. And also do they have 
uh, study or get trained on the applied epidemiology training, uh, uh, FETP. I, I believe that you know name well than I, I do. I didn't remember the full name of FETP, sorry, that. And the status of that, so they confirm, yes, it's been confirmed, no uh, follow up. Uh, they, they upload the line list for the verification if they have the information and they uh, capture it, they just upload the file so that uh, later on they can uh, upload it back. Do they have captured the sample collected and give a prime uh, preliminary outbreak report, something like a verification report on the mission narrative and also the report attachment and also. So each, each milestone, I let I say, let call it each milestone. So they capture different indicators. And this indicator in each milestone and designable and flexible, updated and designed by the epidemiologists. Uh, the program themselves to be what indicator they need to capture and in what purpose. It's a very uh, dynamic in here. So this is the assessment. So they just, they just want to know that is there any line list update provided and what is the risk level and and who who uh, who lead this reassessment because sometimes it depends on the risk level. So they maybe jointly uh, jointly assess the severity of the cases of the outbreak. And also, I don't want to touch anything, but you uh, we can update it, update it everything. No, uh, with with this, and also the data on everything just for you and how also they can close the cases close the event if they wish that okay this is the event that they with the close so they just close it and when they close it they just uh, provide it the if, if the verification is confirmed okay that is uh, like full uh, full positive something like that so they can close it they confirm it no it doesn't really just like an Call an example like they report the suspected like H5 and one, but in reality, I just to give an example, it's, it's a normal call of low, so that definitely uh, like that. So they just close it with uh, conclude conclude uh, even tab, and it, this this also design designable by by the epidemiology form. The the form to capture every indicator again, uh, designed by uh, epidemiologists, especially themselves of the program. In the conducted date, so it, this conducted date is captured for determine the the detection from the detection date to the conclusion date. So how long does it take? So I will show you in the dashboard in the next in the next. Okay, so they can close it, they can save it and close it. So then the the event will be locked. So after they close, so the event will no longer be able for the officer to updated because they already closed. Before they closed, we confirmed it, okay? Okay, so they also have a map to just see that how, how, how many events that they uh, reported in the system. So this is for the officers in your country itself because this is the national uh, account. So they can see it in every provinces, but if uh, the account is being assigned to a specific province, so they can see only their, uh, their assigned uh, province to see. But again, this is an account of the uh, national user, national authority, so they can see from every 25 province in Cambodia. Okay, so after we uh, receive the data from the system, so then, the 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 management so i go i go to the management so they can see a dashboard here so in here is a dashboard so how likely that uh, the operation being so they can see the number total number of events so they can see the time to detection day uh, in min 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 day uh, medians is almost the same as average and the max day so they can see is what is the gap of when the, the officer enter the data a, a report, enter the report of the cases into the system. So the dashboard will be automatically generated in like uh, the, the metric that we capture date in each milestone. So capturing and then we generate it in the dashboard like this. So there's zero mean, it means that 
the 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 smallest one is the even date and report date received on the same day, and the maximum one is like have a gap of thirty days in the detection day. And also to the time to verification, so the minimum one is two days, and the major one, in average one is eighteen days, and the maximum one is forty days. So again, this will have the decision makers to see what is the gap between an example. So they want to improve the detection process. So they might be figured out what is the gap in the process to detection from the case that being outbreak being happened in the community until the cat receiving to an health officer. So in English, so the minus one is mean that there are some cases that is not encounter this step, encounter this step, and also providing a maximum day. So you can see this here maximum day because the most of the cat that we simulate is now reaching to the closest. So there's yeah, just a one closest that is max seven. But uh, again, this is automatically captured from the from the event monitoring system here that uh, the users entering the new, the new data. And also it provides uh, uh, that's what uh, what happened in each provinces. What case in each provinces? In here, you can see a list and a bar chart of each province. This is a similar province. This is Kanta province, a province in Cambodia. This is a it's with the influencers. If I again, this is our simulation data to show the case to you to demo to you. But in reality, it's the same. Okay, and also in the list of province and number of uh, report time. So this province receive a report like 14 in the total cases is uh, 159 and the percentage average cases date and also the average date. And also it, we, uh, it produce like a line chart of the date, uh, the time, time, the histogram of uh, date time in a weekly basis. So how likely the, the operation uh, the outbreak happened and which is the, the peak, the peak uh, uh, period. So they can see from the data that be enters by the health officers in whole nation by. So the management team can see the dashboard here. And also this is the date. And also this is the, the map of the outbreak. So we can click it here to see it. So we can click it here to see that what is the red one I mean. And what is the blue one is mean? The blue and the green one is mean, and the, the something like oh, uh, yellow one mean in on the map. And also the report to be uh, drilled down into each province, into each district of each province. So like this is a district in Kampong Spur province. They have about like six district has a report cases and report date. And they can scroll it to see all of the 25 provinces who have been reported into the system. Okay, so uh, again, so every even here, so if I go back to, uh, if I log out to and I log in with the, to the admin account of the program, so 